Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the five day precipitation temperature from the UK Met Office run as it does look like it will stay chilly over the next few days and turn increasingly more unsettled. Not anything crazy but we could be seeing some frontal rainfall through Saturday and Sunday and perhaps we could see quite a few showers maybe through Monday to Wednesday. Still around or below average in terms of temperatures but as we'll see when we have a look at the mid to long range with the GFS, GM, ACM, ECMWF we are potentially seeing trends of something maybe more around or above average maybe even some warmer conditions towards the end of next week so in around seven to ten days time it is in the sort of the medium range so it's a bit of uncertainty with it but we are seeing a trend perhaps in the models and ensembles correcting warmer around that day seven to day ten mark so we'll have a look at that in a lot of detail as this time of year around or slightly above average temperatures is getting into the low 20s. So it's not, too, it will be pretty decent, at least compared to what we have now where it's low teens. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well. The link's in the description. Also, uh, do check out the channel membership, of course, down in the description as well. And of course, uh, Weekly Weather Podcast was released earlier today for all. Uh, have a look at the heat wave out in Southern Asia for Pakistan, India and Afghanistan. Truly, truly relentless heat wave there with temperatures into the mid 40s. So nothing... Um, so nothing, uh, UK has got nothing on that. So do check that out um, as that's affecting something stupid like 15 to 20 percent of the world's population. So if we do start by have a look at the live radar, you can see again, it's a pretty dry day. Cloudy for some, especially in sort of central and eastern areas, and there's a few showers drifting into parts of Scotland. Towards our south into Europe, there are still a few showers around a line of sh um, heavy rain and storms through France, but nothing too crazy. Precipitation generally for Europe is decreasing at the moment. You can see up towards Scandinavia, we still have that cold air in place, and there is heavy snow falling. That cold air is just to our northeast, and we are tapping into it at the moment. But it does look like we will continue to see some of it filter into the UK, but never fully arriving like was potentially suspected three or four days ago. We were potentially seeing proper northerly wind. That has reduced within the last day or two within the model output, um, and it's now looking more round or slightly below average, trending warmer next week. If we do have a look at the clouds, um, Again, this isn't particularly high resolution, so it is difficult to make out um, exactly the, the cloud amounts. But you can see for the UK, there is quite a lot of cloud around, but it is patchy for some areas, and it's not amazingly thick. Some areas escape in the cloud uh, completely, perhaps in the northwest. Some areas uh, elsewhere escaping the cloud with some breaking. But you can see out to our west, thicker cloud, and this is frontal rainfall potentially moving in. So not a lot of sunshine today, some sunshine for some, and that's where we're seeing those temperatures rise. But generally, it is a pretty mostly cloudy day, um, and that's going to continue over the course of this weekend, unfortunately. If we do look at those temperatures towards the surface, uh, again, it's not too bad. Slightly warmer than yesterday, but where we see all these blues, once again, that's where we're seeing chillier temperatures down towards low teens, like 11, 12 degrees, even into the London area, East Anglia, Southeast England, the coolest parts of the country today under thicker cloud. Um, elsewhere, though, we're seeing some yellows mix in, so it's not too bad. Island of Northern Ireland looks pretty consistently pretty mild, around average, really, around that sort of 15, 16 degree mark. We are seeing a few warm hot spots appearing um, through the central belt of Scotland, through Glasgow, Edinburgh, Stirling areas looking pretty decent. Um, a few areas in the north as well. We're seeing again that northwest England spot through Manchester, Wigan, St. Helens, through Southport, Formby, Liverpool. That sort of area again seeing warmest temperatures in the northwest. Uh, you see elsewhere a lot of blues mixing in. Again, these sort of areas when we have this sort of northeasterly flow are always going to be favoured. And once again, further southwards and westwards you go towards Exeter, down towards like Plymouth area. It's looking pretty decent with some oranges coming in. So getting up to 16, 17, 18 degrees. But as I said, further eastwards, it is a lot, lot chillier. So if you do now have a look at the precipitation and temperature from the UK Met Office run, you can see over the course of this afternoon, thick cloud is spreading into the west. A few showers, as I said, through eastern parts of Scotland over the higher ground. And over the course of this evening, we will start to see that precip precipitation drift in from 
the northwest and by tomorrow uh, sort of rush outside that precipitation is moving in so uh, for Saturday morning not looking particularly great for uh, anyone getting up early this weekend um, and as we head towards the afternoon that precipitation is heading in could be heavy especially over the higher ground um, moderate for most but there could be some heavier pulse especially on that back edge and then through the evening it spreads southwards and eastwards turning all areas cloudy with rain through Sunday afternoons and not looking great widely through Northern Ireland, Ireland and most of England and Wales. Clearing up a bit in Scotland but still some thicker cloud and some patchy showers. Beyond that for Monday still uh, a lot of cloud around, uh, more patchy but with that sunshine coming out with a bit of more unstable air in there we're seeing some heavier showers pop up. That continues through Tuesday, more showers popping up once again maybe even thundery with that but one thing we do have is those temperatures are going to be up with on the up with the wind coming in more from a westerly direction um we're going to be seeing uh temperatures get up into the mid to high teens potentially but as i said with more showers and more cloud around so yeah more unsettled but trending warmer if we do have a look at the uh, two metres temperatures here earlier this morning, a frost across northern England, southern Scotland, Northern Ireland and parts of Wales, so pretty chilly indeed. But by this afternoon, widely temperatures around 10 to 14 degrees, a few 15 or 16 degrees here or there in some bullseye positions. Beyond that, we do have uh, over course this evening, temperatures dropping away again, quite cold. Potentially across the Midlands, getting down towards freezing, um, even down into central southern England perhaps by sunrise on Saturday and by Saturday afternoon we could be seeing those temperatures rise a little bit more with that milder air coming in with the weather fronts maybe 16 17 degrees but under precipitation it's not going to feel particularly great and of course thicker cloud around as well temperatures going to stay well above freezing overnight with milder air masses uh, aloft and by Sunday afternoon we see temperatures not great with a lot of rain around especially in the south many areas will be struggling to 9 to 12 degrees pretty chilly indeed but that really is because of the precipitation and cloud once that does clear over the days following that it will turn milder and warmer so by monday afternoon temperatures starting to rise a bit 15 16 maybe 17 degrees sunshine and showers that continues through to tuesday 17 18 degrees possible and we will see that continue through to wednesday where it's likely again high teens if we do look at the upper air temperatures you can see there are a little bit more that cold air has just shifted slightly further northwards and eastwards away from us and we have more milder or just around average just slightly above average upper air temperatures so we do now have a look at the latest from the gfs uh, before we go have a look at the GMM and the east of F and then the ensembles you can see at the moment high pressure over the top but generally a east to northeasterly flow beyond that though we do see low pressure running from the northwest giving that precipitation of course the weekend and we're generally under higher pressure but because it's uh, sort of in between weather systems and we're not amazingly high in terms of pressure we're going to be seeing those showery outbreaks with little troughs building Towards the middle to end of next week, we start to see the Azores High, an extension of the Azores High, which normally is this darker red sitting to our south, shifting up towards the UK, and it could settle things down and turn things warmer, perhaps, with, um, or at least by next weekend, turning things much warmer, um, with temperatures up towards the low 20s, perhaps, with decently warm upper air temperatures, nothing crazy. Um, and beyond that, the GFS actually turns us very unsettled. But this is getting towards 300 hours, so it's uncertain, very uncertain. So I wouldn't look at this with too much, uh, in too much depth, really. Right towards the end of the run, really unsettled. Could even be seeing some stormy conditions with that. Real ramping up of low pressure out in the Atlantic. Uh, it would be reasonably mild with air masses coming in from the southwest to westerly direction. But it would be really unsettled. And even though it would be pretty mild and warm in terms of temperatures it wouldn't feel great under those cloud uh, rain and stronger winds so it is right at the end of the run so i wouldn't look into too much detail perhaps hints of that in the longer term though but we'll have to see if that is a consistent signal over the coming days so you do have a look at the gm run see how that does compare again high pressure over the top of the uk uh trough moving through the next couple of days turning things slightly more unsettled before we do start to see that high pressure build in not as strong as the GFS, so perhaps slightly more shower activity with that. And it's moved slightly further north, so more of a slack easterly flow, but it would still be dry and pretty mild. Again, if we have a look at those upper air temperatures, it's not too bad within that, getting up towards 4 or 5 degrees at 
850 HPA. We're just difficult to have a look at those operator temperatures on the GFS. So if I do run it back quickly and have a look at those operator temperatures, you can see generally getting towards 5 uh, degree isotherm in. So pretty warm, nothing crazy. And look at the temperature deviation in around 4 to 6 degrees above average. So nothing crazy, but pretty decent indeed. So if we do move be on that and have a look at the ECM WF, see how that does compare. Again, high pressure over the top of the UK, low pressure moving through. And then it does look like we see a bit of a northerly flow for high pressure tries to build back in uh, uh, towards the middle of next week. And it successfully does over on this ECM WF front. Model upper troughs around day 10, so perhaps something slightly more unsettled. But we do see a couple days of warmer, higher pressure. So Longevity of this higher pressure, and if it does get warmer, um, is a little bit uncertain, but a warmer high pressure system does look like it will arrive at least for a time. The longer it hangs around, the more it time it, uh, the more time we have for that warmth to build, because it will be sort of those conditions where it'll be 17, 18 degrees the first day, 18, 19, then slowly ramp up. So if it only lasts two or three days, we'll see some decent weather, but nothing crazy. But if it does last four or five days, like the GFS shows it, we could be seeing temperatures, as I said, into the low 20. So we'll have to see uh, what happens with that. But poten potentially here, um, some warmth building on the models around that day 7 to day 10 mark. So do have a look at the ensemble. We'll start with the GFS. You can see chilly at the moment, staying chilly over the next few days. And then returning to around, or slightly above average, for the start and middle of next week. Um, and you can see by the weekend, quite a few ensemble members, including the operational run, going much higher than average. The operational run is, of course, a warmer run, but it's not an outlier. There's quite a lot of support for it. So, as I said, trend for those temperatures to be around or above average. Some chillier ensemble members, but majority around or above average. Precipitation signal is increasing, so perhaps a sign of a little bit more precipitation around with some troughs, some upper troughs giving shower activity but nothing crazy longer term generally still around average if we do have a look at the two meter temperatures you can see perhaps middle of next week into the weekend you can see the ensemble showing around 17 18 degrees now of course i say this all the time with the ensemble members they do normally undercook um warmer temperatures and overcook uh nighttime temperatures especially when we have sort of frosty conditions around so in this scenario even though it's showing 17 18 degrees that would be the widespread mark 17 18 degrees but more likely locally would get up to 20 21 22 and you can see some of the ensemble members there including the operation run around the 11th of may so beyond 10 days time so a lot of uncertainty with that getting up towards 21 22 degrees very warm indeed so we'll have to keep an eye on that but there could be a signal for some warmth building in here if we do have a look finally to finish the video but have a look at the ecm wf ensembles again chilly at the moment returning to around average around the 4th 5th 6th of may and staying around hovering above and slightly below average majority are around or slightly above but we have got some cooler outliers uh, pushing it down a bit so if we do eliminate those it definitely does like around or above average so yes a warming trend from the ecm wf because a couple of days ago this was a couple of degrees below average but it has trended quite a bit warmer in the longer term quite a few are going warmer yes increased precipitation but it's not looking too bad indeed and have a look at the sea level pressure over the next couple of weeks and you can see a signal High pressure at the moment and seeing slightly lower pressure over the next few days before it's signaled returning again to higher pressure around 1025 millibars around that sort of 5th to 8th of May mark. So yeah, does look like it's going to be unsettled over the next few days in terms of more shower activity, potentially some persistent precipitation for quite a few through Saturday and Sunday. Sunday more for the south, Saturday for the north, especially through Scotland and Northern Ireland. And through some northern England, you could be quite lucky with seeing the heaviest rain overnight, so not actually affecting too much of the daytime through the weekend. And then through Wednesday to uh, Monday to Wednesday next week, more shower activity, temperatures are on the up. And by the end of next week, potentially higher pressure is building back in. And it does look like, instead of being more of a cooler northerly flow anticipated maybe a few days ago, that high pressure is not going to get quite as far northwards. And in fact, it's going to sit over the top with a bit of a warmer air mass coming up from the Azores. Green temperatures potentially back into the high teens, low 20s. So a little bit of warmth potentially could be on the cards across the next seven to ten days. Quite contrary to what we were seeing a few days ago. But this is just what happens um, this time of year where very small differences in orientation of high pressure can give drastic differences.
differences at the surface in terms of going from 11, 12 degrees like we have at the moment, chilly northeasterly flow to warmer southwesterly flow. We can't do have to remember though, it can flip the other way, but at the moment it is looking pretty consistent through the ensembles and the models that it is trending warmer. So long may that continue. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.